speak? <laughs> yeah, he's a good girl. He's a good girl. High five. Yeah. You're so smart. Welcome to Winter Warmers Week 6 Home Workout. We are going to be working on our butt and arms. First up, we're going to do 12 fire hydrant kicks on each leg. So kneeling on all fours. You're going to lift your knee up out to the side and then extend. <laughs> really try to keep your arms nice and straight, your hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Lift your knee right up out to the side and then extend the leg from the knee joint. You're really trying to kick your leg side to side, not to the back. It's not a donkey kick, it's a fire hydrant kick. 12 on each leg. Next we're going to do six single leg thread the needles on each side. You can use a can of beans here. You're going to have the weight in the opposite arm to leg that's up. You thread the arm under, try and put your ear on the floor and try not to fall over. If you're finding it too difficult with one leg up off the ground, you can put both knees down on the floor. This is an exercise to warm up your chest and upper back. Open your arm, look right up at your hand, try and turn your torso to look up at the ceiling and then thread your arm underneath. Try and get your ear all the way down onto the ground. Hold each position for at least one or two seconds to get the maximum stretch out of the exercise. Six on each side. Next up, we're gonna do a triangle butt kick. So again, all fours, hands underneath, shoulders, knees underneath, hips. You're gonna start with your foot on the floor, but out to the side. Kick up in the middle and then take your leg across to the other side. Up to the middle, across to the other side. We are going to do this 20 times on each leg. Really try not to arch through your back as you do it. The movement should really be coming from your hip, from your femur in your hip socket, not from your lower back dipping. Draw your belly button up towards the roof, keep your spine nice and flat, leg is going up and over, making a triangle shape as your foot goes side to side. Each time your foot count touches the floor, count that as one. Next up, we're going to do single arm pullover sit up. So you're going to take your can of beans, bottle of wine, drink bottle, whatever you've got, and hold it in just one hand. Reaching back and then sitting all the way up. If you want to make it easier, you can do it with straight legs. We're going to do eight with it in your right hand, and then we'll swap over so that it's in the other hand and do another eight reps. Same as previous weeks when we've done this with a weight in both hands, the harder you, it is, the closer your feet are to your body, the harder it is. If you want to make it easier, completely straight legs. If you want to make it harder, bring those legs all the way in. Warming up the shoulders and working the core at the same time. That's our warm-up set. Four exercises, repeat it two times. Pause the video here to go through it again. Moving on into our working set, we're gonna start off with single leg glute bridges. I like to make mine harder by doing them with my back or shoulders up on a box. So you can do it this way, cross your ankle over your knee, hands behind the head, or you can do it this way, lying down on the ground, keep your hands by your sides. Totally up to you. 10 reps on each leg, ankle crossed over knee, pushing the hips up nice and high, really feeling the glute engagement on that leg where the foot's on the floor. Next up, we're going to do weighted dead bugs. So again, with weights or with two cans of soup or cans of beans, lying down on your back, Make sure that your knees are directly above your hips, hands over shoulders, opposite arm to leg. Out, in, out, in. 
We're not aiming to get our feet super close to the ground or our hands super close to the ground. You're only stretching out from that square position to about 45 degrees and then back in. Draw your belly button down towards the floor. Use your pelvic floor, your deep abdominal muscles to keep your lower back nice and flat to the ground. We're really trying to activate our deep abdominals. The lower you go, the more you're going to work the external layer, the outer abs, but we want to focus on those deep inner abs. So it's more about that mental message sent from your brain to your core. Squeeze, tuck the pelvis under, flatten the back down to the ground, keep everything nice and strong, slow, smooth. The slower you go, the more challenging it is here. Next up, we're going to do a single leg deadlift, but with both feet on the floor. So I'm standing on my right foot and my left foot just steps backwards. If you want to check that you've got the distance correct, you can actually step forwards. It's just a normal stepping distance, not far. From here, poke your bottom out, keep your back nice and flat. My front leg is staying predominantly straight. I have a soft bend in the back of the knee to protect the knee joint. But other than that, I don't bend that leg more as I come down onto it. Flat back, eyes forwards, poke your bottom out, draw your belly button in. Most of my weight is on my front leg. If I wanted to lift my back foot up, I could. For weight for this exercise, I would fill a handbag or a backpack full of books or bottles of water because most of you will be able to do a challenging weight. Or if you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell at home, that's perfect. We're going to do 12 on each leg. Next up, we've got a fast alternating dumbbell press. So easy to do with your cans of beans or bottles of wine because we're gonna do 40 or 50 reps. So we're going to be punching these arms up above our head, nice and fast, really getting that rep rate, the lactic acid in the arms going. You just keep your palms facing inwards towards each other, alternating arms, one up, one down, punching them as fast as you can. Try and keep your arms directly by your sides, pushing straight up overhead, not in front, not too far back, straight up and down, nice and fast. That's the end of set number two. And yes, there is a third set this week. So you're gonna repeat that second set that we've just done for two more times. So a total of three rounds, if you can, if you've got time. Then, so pause the video here for that, and then we'll move on to our third and final set. Our third set only has two exercises in it. Exercise number one, we're gonna have our feet slightly wider than our hips and slightly turned out. We're gonna come down into a squat. We're going to put one hand down on the floor and reach over to the side. We're gonna do the other side. And then we're gonna stand back up. If you wanna make this harder, you can hold a weight whilst you do it. At the bottom of the squat, make sure that the knees are going out over the toes. Your torso and your arms should be in between your legs. When you reach out, use your elbow and your forearm to push your knee out to the side. As you reach up and over, big stretch along the side of the body. Try and feel even right to left and stand up by driving up through your butt and heels. Just four reps. Exercise number two, in our last set, we're going to do single arm bent over row. If you've got a band at home, you can use a band for this if you don't have a weight, or you can use the weight that you used for our single leg deadlift earlier in this workout. We're going to do 10 on each arm. You can either put your forearm on your knee, or you can put your hand on a box or a wall, and you're just pulling your elbow up nice and high, working your upper back. Really squeeze the shoulder blades together. As you pull your arm up, you wanna feel like you're working your back, not just your arms. Make sure you've got a nice straight line all the way from your head to your heel, so your body is nice and straight and strong. That's the end of our Winter Warmers six week 
home workout. Three sets this time. That last set is a little bit more of a cool down, easier for the legs. Working through it, having fun. Give it a go.